In this video, we will learn how to convert the standard equation of an ellipse with center at h, k to its general form. This lesson requires your mastery of finding the LCD of two or more fractions with unlike denominators. The LCD is the least or lowest common denominators of two or more fractions. You may first practice or review your lessons on finding the LCD before you proceed to this video lesson. This is the standard equation of a horizontal ellipse. This is the standard equation of a vertical ellipse. We will apply the concept of LCD, perfect square trinomial formulas, and distributive property of multiplication to change these standard equations to their general forms. Let's bring back the standard equation of a vertical ellipse denoted by quantity y minus 2 squared all over 25 plus quantity x minus 3 squared all over 9 equals 1 to its general form. To express this standard equation of a vertical ellipse to its general form, we need to make the denominators of the two fractions equal to positive 1. It will be possible by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD of the two denominators, 25 and 9. Hence, the LCD of 25 and 9 is 225. Now, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 225 to rewrite the standard equation with no fractional terms. Let's start with the first fractional term. 225 divided by 25 is 9. 9 multiplied by the quantity y minus 2 squared is 9 multiplied by the quantity y minus 2 squared. Let's simplify this in the next step. Let's move to the second fractional term. 225 divided by 9 is 25. 25 multiplied by the quantity x minus 3 squared is 25 multiplied by the quantity x minus 3 squared. We know that the positive 1 in the right side of the equation has a denominator which is also positive 1. This is because it is a rational number. So, 225 divided by 1 is equal to itself. And 225 multiplied by 1 is also equal to itself. Therefore, the numerical value in the right side becomes positive 225. In step 2, let's expand the two squares of binomial in the left side of our equation. Let's start first with quantity y minus 2 squared. 
to expand it, we will use the formula a squared minus 2ab plus b squared since the first square of a binomial is of the form quantity a minus b squared. Since a corresponds to y and b corresponds to 2, we will substitute them to our formula. We will have quantity y squared minus 2 multiplied by y multiplied by 2 plus quantity 2 squared. Simplifying it, we will have y squared minus 4y plus 4. This is the expanded form of quantity y minus 2 squared. Let's expand the second square of a binomial. For this task, we will also use the same formula since quantity x minus 3 squared is of the form quantity a minus b squared. Now, since x corresponds to a, we will substitute it to all a in the formula. Since 3 corresponds to b, we will plug it in to all b in the formula. We will have this. Simplifying this equation, we will have x squared minus 6x plus 9. We will replace the second square of a binomial by its expanded form in this part of the equation. In step number 3, we will further simplify our equation by using distributive property of multiplication. Following the PEMDAS rule, we have 9 multiplied by y squared is equal to 9y squared. Now, 9 multiplied by negative 4y is negative 36y. And 9 multiplied by positive 4 is 36. Following the same procedure, we will multiply positive 25 to x squared, negative 6x, and positive 9. We will have 25x squared minus 150x plus 225 equals 225. In step 4, we will make our equation equals to 0 by transposing positive 225 in the right side to the left side of our equation. It will become negative 225. Now, let's combine the like terms by adding positive 36 positive 225 and negative 225. We will have positive 36. All we need to do in the last step is to arrange our equation in alphabetical order and according to the degree of its variables. Therefore, we have 25x squared plus 9y squared minus 150x minus 36y plus 36 equals 0. As the general equation of the given standard equation. And since the coefficient of x squared is greater than the numerical coefficient of y squared, a is greater than c, or 25 is greater than 9, we have a vertical ellipse.